Salvin Stadium travels start with the John Smith Stadium, home of the Huddersfield Giants. Salmon Stadium travels start with Huddersfield away. 164th game as a wizard season ticket holder, 175th overall since 2010. 13th versus Huddersfield. So far, 7 wins, 5 losses. Couldn't get on a 5 winning streak as well. That's a 15th away win overall for Wigan. 90th regular season game, 38th away overall, so 14 out of 37 win wise. Uh, and I'm currently on a two wins and one loss out of the field. Won the first one, lost the second one. I won the third one. So more news. We are at the Johnsmith Stadium in Huddersfield. So after a bit of a delay, we are back in Huddersfield for the first time since last June. Second edition of stadium travels this year. And one plus is we don't have to queue up. Nice stadium, the Johnsmiths. More news when we get him. First notable for tonight, it's not easy to see in here, but we've got the programme here. Three pound, I'll rate that when we get in. And we've got Craig who's at the concessions over there, so we'll see what his opinion is on that later on. Right, this is Craig and he's just been to the concessions. Obviously I'm not sampling it tonight, so what's your opinion, Craig? £2.20 for a bottle of Coca-Cola. By the way, other Cokes are available, we're not sponsoring it. £2.20? What do you reckon to the food price-wise? I never saw it, but I saw someone else complaining over there about the price, so... You know. So, for the food, drink, out of ten, what do you reckon? <laughs> well, for the price of the drink, it's zero out of ten. <laughs> but for overall? No, well, well, it's not good, is it? So, very low rating, very low rating. One out of ten. Nice. Craig saying one out of ten. Obviously, for the purposes of a review, I can't say one out of ten. So I'll say on the basis of it, concessions over there. We'll give it a six. Well, we are back in the John Smith Stadium. Like I say, been a while since last year. Crowd-wise, ooh. I mean, I'm, sat, I'm literally sat at the back of the away end here, and as far as the crowd's concerned. It's not a good one for Mother's Field, with it being the first home game of the season, you know, that stadium that stands pretty much empty. Fantastic media ones, not too much full to be honest. And these are the main one. Just to put that in perspective, this is the Wigan end. You know what I mean? <laughs> pretty full this one. So it's Mother's Field versus Wigan, Super League round two. It's eight o'clock kickoff. So this is what you call a view, we're sat on the very back of the stand, as you can see up there. He's got a blues brother going down in front of us, Adam Reeves, he'll not, he won't mind the main check on that. Adam Reeves, dressed as a blues brother, you can just about see him down there actually. And with that high up, the sky camera is there, we're higher up in the stand than the sky camera. That is a definite phase for me, that. never been that high up in the stand. <laughs> You've got about 10 minutes till kick off here. So now on the stadium, a bit more light. Program three pound. News and views. For the program, as with most programs this season, ten out of ten, top notch for three quid. You're getting what you want out of a program, so that's definitely a ten out of ten. Atmosphere. Free game in the Wigan end. 10 out of 10, but we're not here to rate Wigan fans, we're here to rate Duddersfield fans. And looking at what's here at the moment, atmosphere, about a 5 at the moment. So, first away days of the year, then we'll stand up. Duddersfield Giants against Wigan Warriors, Wigan in, atmosphere, 10 out of 10. Atmosphere in the Huddersfield ends. I don't like saying it, but it's not a lot of crowd for an home team. When will Huddersfield attendances increase seriously? Wigan playing in the blue and white chain strip, which I bought this morning. Nice discounts on it. So, 
Huddersfield, James, Wigan Warriors, Super League round two. Off we go. Some atmosphere from the home fan. This took a while over there. Upgrade their range to about a seven at the moment. Still scoreless in the first half now. So, half time here at the John Smith Stadium, and as first halves go, I wasn't very good to be honest. Huddersfield 6, Wigan 0. The shooting with 15 the way win for me tonight. It's got some improvements if that's going to happen. Andler has dominated the first half of Wigan, but like I say, 6 0 at half time. It's come back above from a couple of scores, be back in it, but just have to wait and see. Applause as Luke Robinson addresses the home fans, played for both teams, was a brilliant player. Such a shame he's had to retire this week. As far as half time is concerned, atmosphere wise, yeah, not too bad atmosphere. Home fans picked it up a bit a few times in the first half when he got penalties, obviously when they scored the try. Someone else I've just spotted in terms of entertainment. Over here in the distance, a few colourful costumes. Bit of fire spinning from the other. So yeah, the entertainment is definitely a 10 out of 10. I didn't even spot that. Not as easy to see Joe, but it's there. It looks pretty good from here. So, something I haven't covered on the rating schedule tonight is the entertainment. Half time, it is the Huddersfield Giants cheerleaders. I'm not sure if they've got a specific name as such, but not too bad of a routine, to be honest. Obviously, it's a little, little more they've got to do to compare with the Wigan ones, because, like I say, they have a lot of acrobatics. The entertainment. Oh, here we go. Here's some decent moves. Entertainment. Ooh. Give it a 10. Can't see anything wrong with that. No problems. So just over there in the distance, you can see the entertainment. It is hard to see, but like I say, I am very high up here. You can just see the blue in the distance over there. Cheerleaders have changed the routine a little bit. Obviously, we're using a different lens here, but... Still top notch from where I'm sitting. So, sides come out for the second half. Bit of pyrotechnics to go with it. Huddersfield currently 6 0 up at half time. Like I say, this game's far from over. Wigan will be attacking. The away! As you can hear by the Ferrari in front of me. Second half to come. So, full time at the John Smith Stadium. It's Wigan 18, Huddersfield 13, and it's doubly good for me. All we better to come in. In fact, it's doubly good, I see. If we started stadium travels in Super League with a win. Perfect start after the win this one last year, ruined the way days. It's also my 15th away win on the Wigan Travels. Brilliant game from both sides. Sal man of the match, despite being on the losing side, was Jamie Ellis with 67%. Vote had to be done before Charlie Leeds scored that, otherwise I'd have said it in myself. Fair vote though, 70 odd votes. So Stadium Travels takes a break until possibly Hull FC in March, if I can afford it. So, that is the first stadium travels. There's only one team on the ranking so far, this field. 7 out of 10 for atmosphere, 10 out of 10 for entertainment and programmes facilities, just a 9, and concessions because of the prices, and you've seen earlier in the video, a 6. So, not a bad, two, bad start overall, 42 out of 50. Next one should be Hull in March.